Well, hello, boys and girls. It's what I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom Peepaw Picks Edition. Yes, after the weekend, we're it's Sunday night now of the uh, 28th variety. I'm going to be giving you picks for the 29th. That's what I do. You could have picks for Saturday if you were a Patreon member. And this particular Saturday was probably a good idea you weren't, actually. <laughs> uh, I got my ass handed to me on Saturday, so I went to uh, Perlo's house at Spankin', which I keep just, I built right beside me here. I was tired of going to the Spankin' Institution all the time. So many people cluttered, you know? Uh, so I made my own. Made my own. Perlo's house is spanking. It's the best there. I said it. You should go. You should go. Go there. And also, there's uh, um, Chinky's House of Yoga and uh, Pilates right, right beside me. Go there. Ask for Poon. She'll talk to you there. That's. I like to do the Pilates every once in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, go, go get yourself a spanking. Do some Pilates. Because everybody needs a spanking every once in a while. And Saturday... I sure did. I, I still, we were still up for the week. Don't get me wrong. We were like up 20 units. Even after getting a ribbon, I think I lost nine units Saturday, something like that. Um, but we got it all back in tennis, eight and two in the last four days. And then Sunday, we'll show you. We're going to talk about that. So for all you people that are looking for the quick picks in the first five minutes, get out your protractors and compasses and sharpen up the uh, crayon there and uh, I'm gonna hand them to you right here right away thanks for all your letters thanks for all your letters appreciating how much you appreciate the fine picks and the new service I provide for your uh, quick picks in five minutes because it's a little too long some of you got lots of things to do apparently more important than my video I don't know what that would be. People die, I guess. You know, maybe you got a maybe you got a bout of the COVID or something. But whatever it is, I don't judge. Here we go. Gonna give them to you right now. Okay. Sabers plus one and a half over five point five. Islanders money line under. Five and a half. Leafs ML. And I'm on the fence about this one, but right now I got over six and a half, okay? We're listening to the whole video and you'll understand why. Otherwise, just take it down and run and do whatever you're going to do. It's okay. Avalanche PL over five and a half. Jets money line under six. Vegas money line, Vegas Golden Knights money line over five and a half. And the Minnesota Wild money line over five and a half. Got it? Got it? Good. Hit the subscribe button, you fool. No, I'm not calling you a fool, but hit the subscribe. I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace, Pearlocopter, right to your door. We just shined up all the the, the twirly things, the petals. We just shine that. Well, I didn't, but Hernandez and Melissa went up there and did it. I drank coffee and watched for a while, and then it got a little chilly. So I was like, oh, I gotta get out of here. So uh, yeah, it's a little chilly here in the in Seattle. In the Seattle, I'm in the basement of my Seattle apartment. It's a little chilly up on the uh, helicopter ceiling there. Okay, let's get to our picks for Sunday. So we'll look at those, take a, take a good gander at those, see how we did. Okay, here we go. You could have had these picks too, that's right, I forgot. Now, if you would have had, if you were a Patreon member, you would have been up this weekend. Don't get me wrong, but Saturday in hockey, you wouldn't have been. Sunday, 
we caught up and then of course we hit the tennis picks but let's go to oh I was I was taking a look at uh, some of the scores and stuff like that there we go okay the first one we had Capitals versus the Rangers I went cuckoo thinking this it's a back-to-back -back for the Rangers and uh, an afternoon game. Afternoon games usually go under, but I really should have been thinking these teams aren't going to go under too often. Anyways, it was looking not too bad till the third, but that doesn't matter because, first of all, we had Capitals. I had Capitals money line for big pearls, large pearls, three, four pearls, whatever you want. Then we found out that Kincaid was going to be a net and I got on the free Patreon there and clue, doo -doo 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 -doo, just like that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I sent it out to the land. I said, go in reg on Washington for large pearls. So we did. And in reg paid like 240 or something like that. 240, 260. No, what was it? One, carry the two, seven. Oh, sorry, 225. 225 so we got big 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 if on that uh, we would have got uh, what is that three four and a quarter pearls something like that four and a quarter pearls uh, blue jackets versus red wings uh, I'm tomorrow the blue ja the members of the blue jackets all the members <laughs> of the blue jackets we're sending the Pearlocopter over there if we can find the time from giving you guys all your subscription Pearls of Wisdom necklaces. And we're going to bring them over to the House of Spanking because you lose to it. Uh, if a team, this team had to win this game. I put it in my uh, uh, Patreon here. Let's I'll show you what I said. Show you what I said. Slowly. See, this is where I said, Kincaid and net for the Rangers go in reg for the Capitals. See that? That's that's what I did. Here, now, and this is the kind of service you get if you go to my Patreon. I write this up for every single game, and I do a total, and I do, I do a game and a total. How many cappers do that? I run it like 70%, and I do all the games High, um, totals and uh, lines. So I had small pearls. It's just a small, like half a pearl play. But I said after every after a very uninspired loss against Detroit yesterday, I'm going to, back to Columbus today to come back with the fire in their belly. Well, they didn't have a fire in their belly. Uh, Merzlikens was back in net and he did great. And I talked about that. Merzlikens net. Two back here as Corpusella was hurt, and that's a good thing. Grice will play. Grice is not. He's a poopty goaltender. If the Cackets, I guess I put it, Jackets cannot win the game. In this game, it's time to pack it in and grab the golf clubs. It's over. That being said, as you can tell by the bet, I'm not very confident in them getting it done. And I wasn't, but I bet them anyways because... They had, it was a must win and they should have won. And seriously, their season is a mess. Now, if you lose that game, their season was a mess. Okay, so just wanted to show you the kind of service you get there over there. Uh, we're not going there. We're still talking about yesterday's games. Ducks versus Blues. We had the under and we had the Blues. <laughs> Wasn't confident about the game, though. We only had small pearls again. So we were up, what, four and four, uh, no, no, we were up 3.75. So we're between those two, we might be down to three and a half. But here's where we make it up big time, boys and girls. We had the under for large pearls. Large, large, large. In fact, this was our pick of the day. Devils versus Bruins was our pick of the day under. You get that if you go over to the Patreon. I give a pick of the day every day now. We're two, one, and one, I think, uh, on our picks of the day. And we had the Devils 
for 260. 260, yo. So we had oh, we had large. I would have had like four probably. That's my pick of the day. So uh, I think it was at 180. So you're up 163. 320 plus two plus one or what was it what was it 260 yeah plus 160 320 480 something like that then we uh kind of it was a wash for both of these we had the stars and by the way uh ekblad uh mr ekblad i know you're watching out there right now you as soon as you got to the hospital you turned it on to watch you turned your youtube on to watch this i'm sure uh, Aaron Ekblad, um, all condolences to you. I don't know if you guys noticed this. He had a terrible leg injury. It was ugly. Uh, I had the stars, and I'm off the stars now. I'm off. But we had the under. And it was for equal money on both. So we're down just a smidge. And the Predators also, we had the over, but we also had the Predators. So it was down just a smidge. Overall, no, you did. Did you do the math there? I think we're up like five, six units or something like that. We were up a lot. We, were, we did well. And like I said, we hit tennis like crazy today. Four for one. Uh, one were incorrect. Four for five. And we also hit an NCAA pick today. So more up. Made up for our Saturday. No problems. And up for the week. So let's look at tomorrow's stuff. We are going to go to the picks for tomorrow. Picks for tomorrow. Okay. Philadelphia versus Buffalo. I, I'm i so conflicted about this game. Uh, Philadelphia did play well against the Rangers the last game. Did play well defensively. I mean, if they play like that again, they should be able to beat Buffalo fairly handily. Fairly handily. But I'm telling you, Allmark being back for Buffalo changes everything for that team. Their main problem, and I said it before, if you watch my show, I have a show on 3 to 5, Monday to Friday, 3 to 5 Eastern. We do picks, talk hockey, all of that sort of stuff like that. It is so much frolic. I'd love to have you there. I said that, you know, they shouldn't, they, it wasn't Ralph Kruger's fault. You have no goaltender. You have no goaltender. Look, Johansson got traded to Colorado, and he, and he couldn't win a game there. He lost the game for them there. Anyways, I'm lean in Philadelphia here, but I'm going to go Sabres plus one and a half. I think it's going to be close, and you're getting darn good juice off of uh, the spread here for the Sabres. 167. Better than the money line for Philadelphia. So I'll go with that. I think it's greater odds that it's a one-goal game and Buffalo holds on that Philadelphia win in on the money line, and I don't like the juice on the money line. As far as the spread, as far as the total, I think I'm going over here. Carter Hart should be in net here. Uh, he has played a little bit better, but he's struggled still all year. Buffalo being Allmark, okay, he will stop enough. Um, however, Philadelphia's defense and their offense can score enough for Buffalo to win this like 4-3, something like that. Um Somewhere like that. Or Philadelphia win 4-3. That's what it feels like. Feels like about a 4-3 game to me. Islanders versus Pittsburgh. Uh, I am... I am. Pittsburgh just keeps on winning and it doesn't make sense. I've got the Islanders ML here, but it's. I can tell you this is only going to be for small change. Uh, I'm not going to be putting a lot on the line on here because just Pittsburgh shouldn't be winning. They've got injuries... Ridiculous injuries like Malkin is out, Tanev, Kapanen. Uh, it looks like they might be getting Zucker back, but that's only a maybe. They're playing guys way higher in the lineup as they should. They still got Matheson and CC as defensemen, who were some of the worst regular defensemen last year, but they're playing well now. Somebody gives Sullivan uh, some some uh, props for coach of the year this year because uh, he's doing a bang up job there uh they just beat P the islanders really bad though and it feels like it should be a revenge game i'd like to go to pl but you're not getting any juice um 
over under it should be under but last game was freakish over i'm gonna go back to the under here though i believe that's what i said under five and a half uh but like i said i don't think i'm putting much on any of this because it could go any way uh Edmund, edmonton versus toronto this is the last game of uh, edmonton's been out of town for a long time it's the last game before they go home and they're going to play calgary I just have a feeling that they're going to be a little bit complacent here. Maybe they're, they got a lot of young guys where it looks like their head's in the wrong place a lot of the time. I heard rumors that Corpus Salo could be in net for Edmonton. If that's the case, I'm going the over at six and a half here. I'm not a fan of Corpus Salo. Um, who's going to, Campbell should be in for Toronto. If it's going to be Campbell and Smith again, I'm probably going to go back to the under, even though it burnt me last time. But I'm not sure. I wouldn't put a lot on that. As it stands, I'm going to go Toronto. And I may, when I wake up in the morning, go in reg here. But for now, I got ML. Still no odds for Anaheim and Colorado. And I have no idea why. Anybody in the comment section tell me why there's no odds? Is there, Are they having a COVID issue? I haven't heard anything about it. But as it stands, I'm going to go Colorado puck line. Uh, they are just crushing it right now. Anaheim just, I don't think Anaheim's got anything. They, they got lucky against San Jose or against St. Louis last night. Um, I, had, I had St. Louis ML or tonight or whatever, Sunday night. They got lucky. They got outshot badly and um, uh, stole, st uh, who was in net for them? Was it Stolars? I think Stolars stopped everything. Uh, not something that I would have saw happening. And uh, but they they ended up pulling it through. So I, I just I, I don't think that's going to happen with Colorado. Colorado is going to crush them. Calgary, Winnipeg. OK, when Calgary came back, finally got a win against Winnipeg. Maybe they do it again here. Um, but Hollabuck will be in net and he's just crushing it. Winnipeg has been on the road a crazy amount, though. Um, I think this is close. What, what are they getting for a spread here? I think I think I like Winnipeg PL and put it in a parlay is your best play here. Because this really could go either way. Uh, it really could go either way. Um, I do like the under a little better. I probably would go the under there here uh, because Hellebuck is in net. It really comes down to can Markstrom hold the fort, uh, and I'm not confident about that. That's why I'm not big on this game. I think I've got Winnipeg ML right now, but I'd rather do the puck line and put it in a parlay or something. Uh, Vegas versus Los Angeles. Vegas just had a huge win against Colorado. I think they're on a big high right now. Also, Los Angeles has a big injury for them. You may not know who this person is because he's kind of new, but Mikey Anderson, I don't need to look it up. I'll just tell you. Mikey Anderson is out, and he has been huge for them this year. Um, and they don't, this year when they've had injuries, significant injuries to their defense, things haven't gone well. Flurry should be in there for Vegas, and Peterson, Peterson should be in for Los Angeles, which has me leaning probably to the under. But the bigger play here is Vegas and Reg. I like Vegas and Reg because I don't think you're only getting 149. You know, Vegas and Reg will push it up to about 165, 170, somewhere around there. San Jose versus Minnesota. I think Minnesota wins this all day long. Uh, San Jose had their chance. I even gave them a chance. I was talking about that San Jose looked like they were turning it around. Then they lost to Anaheim bad, and they just looked bad. Just It's one step forward, three steps back for that team right now. It's not looking good for them. Minnesota is just crushing it. Um, like they they had a little setback when they lost after they lost to Colorado at the tail end of a long road trip, but they got home. This is the first game on a road trip again, and uh, I think they'll be humming for this one. So I'm going to take Minnesota in reg, which should pay close to two. Well, boys and girls, that's my full forty-two percent. That's all I got to give for you today. Uh, hit the subscribe and the bell. Get yourself a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Or actually put in the comment section 
you have a choice now. We have new swag. You can have a uh, um, a ring o pearlo, or a bracelet of pearls, or a pearl of wisdom necklace. You choose. Tell me in the comment section after you subscribe, and I'll send that to you. And uh, you're also going to want to uh, check out my show, 3 to 5 Eastern, Monday to Friday, for the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. That's right, Steel Flyers All Sports Network. It's the best there. I said it. Go to, uh, you can go check it out on the, on, the, on the interweb. Have fun with that. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.